This video will cover configuring the initialization AOI for both motors. I already have all necessary AOIs imported and a routine in the periodic task. The periodic task is set to update every 10 milliseconds. The periodic task houses the Linmat housekeeping, the initialization, and your native Rockwell motion commands. In the initialization routine, we will start creating tags for this AOI. This AOI is initiated once drive connection has been established. The purpose of the AOI is to set the communication path for the timestamp data, allows you to set the position scaling factors, and gives you four channels to read and four channels to write that are in the controller tags. The linear motor scaling factor is 10,000 pulses per 1 millimeter. The maximal current positive and negative needs a 0 or a 1. If you select 1, you can use the torque limit positive and negative to dynamically control the motor's maximal force or torque. The torque control is based on a percentage of the peak motor's force. If you do not want to read or write any UPIDs in the controller tags, you can leave the next 8 parameters as 0. Now we will set the communication path. We will leave the message type as SIP generic and we'll change the service type to set attribute single. We need to change the instance, the class, the attribute, the source length, and the source. The setup of the message is now complete. Next, we will move to the initialization AOI for the rotary motor. The only difference between the linear and rotary motors is the position scaling numerator and denominator. Thank you for watching.